Girl, you can't even tell I'm bald headed. I mean, you can't even tell I'm a bald headed scallywag. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It is another Amazon hair review. Yes, girl. So today we're gonna be reviewing bundles, girl, and and doing our own sew-in and make it a wig at the same time because this is how i started my channel doing my own sew-ins like this is a sew-in slash wig baby okay and i tell you it's super duper versatile and if you've seen my natural hair before girl um <laughs> i need to get a big chop but in the meantime in between time if i'm gonna wear my natural hair out it's hot outside now is the time and it was super duper easy to do and it's a reusable sew-in so i can pop this thing off wash this hair Watch my natural hair pop this thing back on, baby, I am done. The hair that I am using is hair that I have used for years. This hair is straight to curly. It goes from straight to curly, and this straight texture is everything. It matches my hair type perfectly. If you would like to see what this hair looks like curly, please subscribe, because I'm gonna do another video showing how this hair looks curly. So, I've been doing this method for a while, and it's been tried and true. My sister does her hair like this. Like this is how we've been doing our hair for years. If you wanna see how I did this hair and you wanna see how I made the wig, how I installed it, and get a review on the hair itself and figure out what type of hair I'm talking about, please keep on watching. Let's go ahead and get into the hair. Okay y'all, let's go ahead and start with the hair. Now the most important part is the hair. I'm gonna be using two packs of two different hair types of the Shake and Go Naked Nature Hair. You only need one and if I were to choose one, I would choose the Bohemian Curl, but I'm using Bohemian Curl and Deep Wave to mix together to get a specific curl type, but you only need one. The next thing you need is a wig cap. A have th I have a thread and needle um, and also a trimming set that I didn't even use, girl. I don't know why I bought it in some scissors. This is the wig cap that I bought. Now this wig cap is perfect for beginners because it's supposed to help guide you in how to sew on hair onto a cap, especially if this is your first time. This obviously is not my first time, but I thought that this was a good wig cap to use for those of you that are first timers. So the hair that I'm gonna start with is the Bohemian Curl hair. If you can tell, this hair is a little bit fluffier. It has much more of a tighter coil when you wet it. That's why it's my favorite. But I like to use this first because that is the hair texture that's closer to my hair texture. So to get that um, realistic method in the front so the hair in the tracks doesn't show, don't show on the wig cap or the sewing cap, I double fold, well I fold the tracks so they're double lined or double stacked. Girl, what do you call it? Girl, they double stacked like a burger. And I sew it around the perimeter of the head, leaving space for the U part at the top. Now I just eyeballed this because I've done it before. I probably should have measured it, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and sew it around the head. Now, how I start off sewing in um, tracks is that I go through the track. I use a curved needle. I go through the track, through the end of the cap, and I loop it all the way around. I do that all the way around the head until I get to the end. I take the needle, go through the track, go through the cap, and then I take the thread and wrap it around the needle three times to secure the end, cut the thread, and then tie it into a knot. So that's how you get a really, really secure track to make sure those tracks don't fall off that way because maybe that would be embarrassing. But you see how it allows you to put your hair up and it lays really, really flat. Now next, I'm gonna go in with my deep wave texture or the deep curl. I think it's deep curl or deep wave. I'll leave a link for all of these items down below. I also will have everything linked in the Amazon store to make it easier for you. So I'm gonna be going back and forth between bundles. Now each pack contains six half bundles of hair. So basically it's three bundles. And I chose the length, I think it's 14, 16 and 18 inches. I think it came with a 12 inch closure. So each half bundle I'm alternating back and forth. So I sew in the full half bundle and then I go back to the deep wave. I alternate between deep wave and bohemian curl. So I do this because once I wet the hair, you're gonna get a extremely gorgeous, beautiful, voluminous curl. I love mixing my curl textures. That's just like, how, that's just how I like to do my hair. But if you just like one type of curl, I'm telling you Bohemian Curl is going to be your favorite. That's the one I think is the best. So I'm sewing down these tracks individually. I'm not double stacking them at this point. And I'm following along the lines of the wig cap, but I'm 
going in between the lines. So as you can see, I'm not directly on the line. I am going in between the line and on top of the line because I really want this hair to be full. So I would just sew the tracks and then I just flip it back and forth. Now I can do a, a deeper in-depth tutorial on how to sew in tracks. I think it would take a little bit more time to show exactly my method, but girl, I'm not a professional. I just like for my uh, tracks to lay flat. Now the trick for laying these tracks flat for me is when I flip over the tracks, I make sure I double knot the thread at the end and then I flip it over and then I double knot it one more time. But I can go ahead and go into a deeper tutorial if you need me to. Now, as you can see, I just went back to the deep wave and I'm going back to the Bohemian Curl until we get all the way to the top. And I'm just gonna keep sewing. When I tell you, girl, this took, I would say in all, it maybe took me five hours, but because I had other work to do and other videos to work on and other sponsorships, well, sponsorships to work on because baby, this is not a sponsorship, baby. I spent my money on this. Um, it took me one and a half days when I split it up. So once we finally got to the top, I'm going to go ahead and use this closure, baby. We're going to use everything. I do not like this closure as it is. I actually purchased a separate closure from the same brand. I probably use that on another wig, but this one that comes in there, it is a silk based closure, baby. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. I hate it as a silk based closure, but I love it as a U-part wig closure. So this is how I do it. I cut out the silk base and then I pin it down and I sew it down like a regular lace closure. We just sew it around the perimeter all the way around. And I do this before I completely finish the U-part because I like to make sure it fits. And baby, I was close to not having this fit, but it fit perfectly. You just sew it around the perimeter. It has um, extendo netting that makes it easier to sew. So I just sewed it all the way around the head. And once I completed sewing, of course, I did my triple knot at the end and tied it tight. And then I went back in and finished the rest of the tracks just to make sure this wig was completely full. And by the time I finished this, I used all six of the bundle, well, five of the bundles. And I had like a half of my uh, Bohemian Curl bundle left. So if you use one pack, although I was alternating back and forth, you could definitely get away with one pack and get a full head if you're making a U-part wig. You may have to space them out just a little bit more, but y'all know me, I'm trying to make sure I use every single bit of my pack because there's no reason for you to buy two unless you're trying to do the method that I'm doing with mixing curl textures. As you can see, this lace closure is crowded, but look how flat that hair looks when you pull it up. So this last part got a little bit tricky. I forgot how I did it last time. So I had to watch my last video, <laughs> my own tutorial to figure out how I did it. But I also sewed down the closure on the front because we're going to be cutting out the U part section and I needed that part to be secure. So I just wanted to try on the wig just to show you what this closure looks like, baby, no. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out that lace. We'll cut out the cap to create the U part section. So we needed to cut out that cap so it's not operating like a lace front wig. And next I'm going to section out this closure. As you can see, this closure is like half vented lace and half tracks. And we wanna utilize the tracks to create the U part. So basically this closure has its own wig leave out. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what to call it, but it has its own wig leave out. So I'm gonna section that part out because we're gonna cut that section out and utilize this closure as its actual, as its own U part. I feel like this is a good way to use all your hair without having to buy second packs if you want extremely full hair. So I'm just cutting out that middle part and baby look, we got ourselves a perfect U part and I love that. I did have to cut out the second layer, baby. They put so many layers on this. It was a layer cake. I don't know why they put so many layers on this closure, but it makes it perfect to wear as a U part. Now. Now we need to work with my natural hair. Baby, my natural hair is going through it. The big chop is coming soon. <laughs> okay, because this hair needs to go. So I'm trying on the wig to figure out where I'm going to section out my leave out. The leave out that I like to do is only in the front, baby. I don't leave out hair in the back because I'm trying to conserve as much hair as I, I have on my head, girl. You already see, it's falling out, <laughs> girl. Anyways, so I left out, a, I didn't leave out enough at the top. I should have left out more at the back of that leave out triangle, but that's okay. And I only leave out 
a little tiny bit on the sides and now we get to work on our base now i only need anchor braids around the perimeter of the head so i'm going to start on that one side a little bit of advice I usually use human hair to braid into my natural hair to create more of a secure base because my hair is really, really fragile. And usually the sew-in works well if my hair is longer and healthier, but baby, when it's broken off like this, baby, this thing can slip off quickly. So I would typically think like if you have any leftover human hair or synthetic hair, if you're not allergic to synthetic hair, use that and braid it into your hair to create a really, really secure anger braid. I actually ended up redoing the sew-in doing the same braid method with uh, human hair braided in it lasted so much longer but i'm going to keep braiding around the head so that those are my ankle braids that's where we're going to be sewing the hair down to the rest of this hair is basically going to be the hair that's just going to be tucked away so we need to make sure it's super duper flat now my hair is thin so i don't really worry about worry about flatness that much baby my hair is going to be flat whether it's poofed out or not but i'm just going to go ahead and braid the hair down the middle um, tying together those two U-part anchor braids. And I'm also going to braid down those two sides. Now you can do smaller braids if you want to, if you have much thicker hair, but this is how I choose to do it. And it does maintain the health of my hair to do it this way. So my hair isn't, um, manipulated too much. So I braid all of that down. I actually end up braiding all three of these braids together. And then I sew it up at the back. I lost that clip girl. I didn't turn on the camera, but I sew it all up at the back. So everything lays flat. Now we get to finally put on the wig, baby. We are in the final stages. And when I tell you this is the most rewarding feeling in the world, especially when it's tight, oof, it feels so good. Now I'm going to go in with my needle and thread and I usually start around the U part area. Um, I'm just going to start on whatever side that is. Is that my left? You're right. Yes, my left, you're right. I'm just going to go ahead and sew the hair onto the head. Now, I don't pull too tight. I make sure I keep, I, I pull it tight enough, but not so tight to where I feel any tension. I am currently wearing the wig right now. I'm on day three, four, one of those. And it feels really, really secure. It's not painful. It's really, really comfortable on my head. So I just sew it down. On both sides first, I start around uh, the U-part perimeter. And as you can see, I should have left out a little bit more hair because uh, the tracks are a little bit further down. But I was able to fix that um, the second time I installed it with the braid down hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew all the way around the perimeter. Typically, I would stop right here at the back cut the thread and then go from the other side. That's the best way to do it so it fits more securely. But you can do it this way as well and it fits really well and it still works out. So I did that all the way around the sides and we are completely done. And when I tell you I was fully surprised in how good this looks and when i tell you this hair texture is the softest wet and wavy sort of kinky straight sort of hair, it's soft, it feels like my natural hair. It is crazy. Look how pretty that is. And it's so seamless. It fits well on the head and it lays super duper flat. Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trim down this hair because, babes, the ends look good. But because this hair was layered, I like for my hair to be blunt. It looks better blunt. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the bottom. I'm also going to layer down the sides. I'm going to do an easy layer, girl. I'm not going to do too much because, baby, by this time I was tired. I was tired, boss. So I'm going to layer on both sides and then we can finally get into styling this hair. Now, one thing I notice about wet and wavy hair or hair that goes from straight to curly, when you straighten the hair, it actually expands and poofs up. That is a wet and wavy thing. I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. So I'm using my T3 Smart Iron to flatten this hair. What I like about the hair puffing up is that it looks more natural when you put a flat iron on it. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks more natural. So I'm doing that on both sides. I'm, and I'm also going to straighten my leave out. I only did one pass because this hair doesn't get super duper straight unless I were to go in and do small sections. But I don't like super duper straight hair because my hair doesn't lay straight because it's not heat drained. So I did that all the way on both sides. And as you can see, it looks so good so natural and as the hair expands it looks better and better now next we need to go ahead and do some baby hairs i'm gonna go ahead and use my she is bomb edge control and i'm just gonna do some light baby hairs not too much 
I like to keep the baby hairs light because it looks more natural on this hair. So I'm going to do light baby hairs on both sides. And then once that is complete, we can actually get into curling this hair. So I decided I just wanted a little bump at the ends and it was so easy to do. This hair curled so well. I thought I was going to curl it with a curling iron, but that I wanted to keep the straight texture and bumping it at the ends was ugh, so cute. Such a genius idea. Aren't I a genius? It looks so cute and so realistic. Now this seems like a lot of work, but when I tell you it's rewarding, you only have to do this once and you can wear a sew in multiple times. So you can wash this hair. It'll go curly. You can straighten it. And all you have to do is uninstall the hair by taking out those threads around the edges and then reinstalling it and you have a brand new sew in again. Like you don't have to worry about tightening or anything like that. And I absolutely love that about this hair. And this carried me all the way through, girl, my early 20s. I love this hairstyle. Now, you can also style this hair. You can see I tried to do the half up, half down, but I don't really like it too much. But I think when I did like that clip up, that was super duper cute. I somehow lost the rest of the footage of it, but look how flat those edges look on this hair. Now the back, I didn't leave any hair out in the back, so it looks a little bit funny. But if you leave hair out in the back, it will be perfect. But in the front, it looks so flat, so realistic, and it's super duper easy to do. Y'all tell me which style was your favorite. Now let's go ahead and close out this video. So y'all, this is the finished look. Do you see how beautiful this hair is? Oh my God. Oh my God. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. I have to be honest with y'all this whole time. I was afraid because I haven't done this. I haven't done this method in so, so, so long. But baby, it's like riding a bike. I ate it up. Like, look, 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 girl. Who needs... Who needs, who, who needs to get clip-ins, girl? Who needs to get tape-ins, girl? Who needs a stylist? I absolutely love this method. One thing I know for sure is that I actually do need to go get a big chop. My hair is thinned out extensively since the first time I did this video. But either way, it doesn't make a difference. Even if my hair thins out, it still looks amazing. Girl, maybe it's a little bit of track in the back. That's okay. I can leave out a little bit more next time. But in general, this hair looks absolutely stunning, gorgeous. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. I am in love with it. Y'all let me know what you think about this method down below. Have y'all tried it? Oh, and next, I will, be, in my next video, I'll be showing how this hair looks curly. So make sure you check out my next video. That should be coming up soon. So I'll be giving you updates, all types of stuff. Please let me know if you want to, if you're interested in seeing what it looks like curly and maintenance routines and all that type of stuff. Because when I tell you, this hair is has been my go-to for years. Um, Y'all go ahead and leave your comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.